Hey there folks and welcome back to the I Am CDB Project. I of course am your host CDB, you are not, and today we're going to have a shave and compare the Edwin Jagger DE89, which you see here. This one just happens to be black. And the Gillette Heritage Razor, which once again, I'll show you the packaging in case you haven't seen it, available on Amazon about 35 or 36 bucks. So these are close uh, in price. Every now and then you can catch this one on sale. This was $19.99 on Amazon right before the new year, um, just to give you an indication of the price. But normally it's 30-ish, uh, high 20s, low 30s, um, at least in the United States. One thing to mention is just based on a view, these razors in terms of the head look almost identical. I mean, if you look at those, they are extremely similar uh, from my perspective and darn near identical as far as I'm concerned. So I just wanted to show you that. And I think many people think that essentially this Gillette Heritage essentially has like a DE89 head or a Mula type uh, R89 head. They're almost identical. In fact, the only difference I can see visually in them is that Edwin Jagger stamps its logo here uh, in the base plate now. And of course, this one isn't stamped that way, but it's probably, or I should say possibly, both these heads possibly made in the same place. That's speculation on my part. So let me go ahead and pop a blade in the Edwin Jagger. I'm gonna use the Gillette uh, Platinum, which came with the uh, the Gillette Heritage Razor. And I will shave um, one side of my face with one, one side with the other. And my, I'm imagining they will come out <laughs> pretty much the same because it's pretty much the same head. Let me pop a blade in the Gillette uh, head, which again, almost identical. The only difference I can see in them or discern visually is the, uh, is the logo in the Edwin Jagger. Other than that, they look the same. Um, handles are obviously different. Anyway, today we're gonna use Arco Shaving Cream, another inexpensive cream that works very well. So let's just go ahead and wet the face and get after it. Thanks uh, everyone for joining me once again. And thank you for continuing to come around. We'll, sh we'll shave with the Gillette on this side of my face, and we'll shave with the Edwin Jagger on this side, and then we'll see how it goes. And uh, by the way, these Arco creams work very, very well. Um, no performance problems. I haven't. I wish they still had the one called, I think it was Arco Venture or Adventure. Maybe it was Adventure. But I can't find it anymore, and I like the scent of, of the uh, Arco. It might have been Adventure Ur or something like that, but I can't find that one anymore, and that was a good scent. This scent here is just, I don't know how to describe it. Um, kind of nondescript, really, but it, it's a good cream. It works really, really well. And again, you know, for the folks outside the U.S., in some places, you know, they only have these tube type creams and a handful of, um, you know, mass produced soap. They don't necessarily have artisans in that area. And so we try to use a little bit of everything, sort of represent uh, everyone. Anyway, I'll start off with the Gillette Heritage, which I used uh, the other day. And, you know, it's a nice little razor. I don't really have any issues with it from a performance perspective. It shaves just like a an Edwin Jagger DE89, which is quite good. And again, we'll see today if I can discern any differences. My my feeling is I won't because they're, you know, handle excluded, they're just about one and the same. And I, uh, both good shavers. And I'm gonna send this one on to the inspector, I think next week. I was gonna keep it and use it a little more, but, uh, I think I'll send it on to him because it's basically, you know, feels like a DE89. And yeah, 
this feels pretty much the same. Obviously a little longer handle on this one. This one has a good handle length. I think a little bit longer than the Gillette handle. This one is sort of, I think my sweet, sweet spot as far as length of handles, but I must say the head just feels the same. Nice and smooth, which is what you would expect for an Edwin Jagger. Feels very nice. Some people don't like these smooth type handles, but the first Edwin Jagger I ever had, which I wish I would have never gotten rid of because that was the first razor I think I ever used. Or I think I either had that and the Merker 34C. I can't recall which one, but anyway, it was just uh, chromed with no line. I've never had a problem with uh, razor slipping personally. Um, and I think this is a handsome razor and a good razor and absolutely nothing to avoid. Do not, do not be bothered by the, you know, elitist type folks in the shaving group that call the Edwin Jagger and the uh, Merker 34C beginner's razors. They're a good razor for a beginner to use, but they're not a beginner's razor. They work for anyone who, um, can use a razor and doesn't need extreme aggression. They work really well. They're designed really well. And they just do a great job overall. And as you can see there, here, this cream, it just puts really a nice, nice thick lather on. It does a good job. I think I'm feeling a little cooling, so I'm not, there might be some menthol in here. I'm not gonna look to see, but. Um, I'm definitely feeling a little bit of cooling, so there's something in there that makes it a little bit cool. Anyway, we'll go with second pass with the uh, Gillette Heritage. Again, I think nice uh, razor. Some people don't like the fact that Gillette, you know, came out with a razor. You know, after uh, the first DE razor, I think, available in the American market since the 80s. And it's sort of rocking an Edwin Jagger or Mula type head. And they're disappointed in that. And I can certainly understand that perspective. Because you would just assume they would use one of their old vintage heads of their own. Or uh, make something new. But they didn't. And so here we have what is essentially... The way I would characterize this razor at this point is... It's essentially an Edwin Jagger uh, razor with a, a retro Gillette handle would be the way I would characterize it. Um, or a Mula R89. You want to use that as your benchmark. But either way, it's it feels exactly the same. And so uh, the only difference here I'm feeling is the handle. And that's, that's all there is to it. So basically... From my perspective, it's an Edwin Jagger or a Mula R89. And so from that perspective, if you like the um, if you like the Edwin Jagger DE89, you just want one that's branded with, you know, to be Gillette and inspired and all that, then you know, grab one of the uh, Gillette Heritage Razors off Amazon. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. And again, comes in pretty nice packaging for the price. But overall, from my perspective, it's really nothing new. It's just putting a an old Gillette type handle on a, a DE89. And again, I know I've said that a lot uh, at this point, but that's a very important point that I want to drive home. And I'm not saying it as a criticism because I think it's a fine razor. And so... For those of you, you know, you're just now getting into it. Maybe you prefer a, a short-handled razor. Would be just fine. Um, it's certainly nothing to stay away from. I can tell you that. There's no reason to avoid it unless you just don't want... Uh, let's say you already have an EJ or Mule R89 and you don't want another razor like it, then maybe it may be passed, but... Apart from that, it's just fine. And I'm glad that they've, you know, done something. I know that's a, 
a lot of people in the community feel like it's a cop out and you know, Gillette should have done more being Gillette, but uh, they decided to basically release a short <laughs> Edwin Jagger razor, and that's just all there is to it. Feels exactly the same, um, minus the, again, shorter handle. So, you know, take that under advisement if you're looking at uh, perhaps buying this razor. Absolutely no reason to stay away from it, but nothing new would be um, my sort of characterization of the razor. Really nothing new, nothing groundbreaking. We've seen it all before, and there are lots of Edwin Jagger clone-type heads that are made all over the world, and so this is nothing new. But it does have the Gillette name on it, so if you're just a collector... And you want it for that reason, um, it's fine. And it is a, just a fine razor. I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So from that perspective, I say it's uh, well worth having if you like. Totally up to you. Because again, you know, I'm not in the, in the business of selling things. So ultimately, it, it doesn't matter to me why one iota, what you buy or don't. I'm just trying to show you my experience and then maybe you can you know uh, watch and take it under advisement but if you think uh you're going to get something earth shattering and new you're really not it's pretty much redux of things we've seen long ago but they are tried and tested and they do work well and so from a function standpoint works very nicely. And here I want to give you another look at them. Um, just about identical on the heads. Uh, I think I prefer slightly the Edwin Jagger. I like, I don't know, it might be for sentimental reasons because it's one of the first razors I used, if not the first. Um, and this one does a great job too. So, you know, if, if you're, if you don't mind a mild shave uh, both of them work well you can grab whichever one's uh, less expensive or just you know sort of give your uh, take it into consideration that you know both are basically going to do mostly the same thing as far as i'm concerned so i hope that is helpful to uh, some of you i'm going to send the the heritage out to the inspector next week so he'll probably give it away from there so uh, check that out if you get time i want to thank everybody once once again tongue twisted there, for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDV. You are not. God bless.